There are many ways to finish the ball in a 1v1 situation, but one of the most beautiful ways is to chip the ball over the goalkeeper's head. And if done correctly, the goalkeeper can do nothing but stand and watch it lift over their head and drop in the net on the other side. And that's what we're going to be working on today. So what makes the chip shot so effective is that goalkeepers usually approach the attacker when they're 1v1 with their arms low and their crouch ready to dive either side. So if you can lift the ball over the goalkeeper's head, that's the shot they're least expecting so you can really catch them off guard and use it to your advantage. So a few tips to help you master the chip shot is to first have the ball rolling in front of you. You really want to be performing this when you're 1v1 with the goalkeeper, you're running through on goal because the ball already has momentum as it's rolling forward so it's a lot easier to lift the ball. The next thing we need to do is lift our head and assess the goalie's position to see if it's even on to chip the goalkeeper. If the goalkeeper's charging towards us, the closer they get, they're going to leave more space in behind them. So this is a great opportunity to lift the ball over their heads. If the goalkeeper's staying on their line, there's not going to be enough room to get the ball up and down and it's going to be an easy catch for the goalkeeper. So always remember you have a lot more time than you think when you're in a 1v1 situation. So lift your head to see if the chip shot is available. So now we're in a position where we can see enough room on the other side of the goalie, so we're gonna take on the chip shot. So there's a couple of tips with the technique that's gonna make it most effective. First thing is making sure we're lifting the ball and not chipping it. Even though it's called the chip shot, a lot of players think you're gonna be striking down on the ball, almost like a long pass, but there's just not enough distance between the goal and you to get the ball up and over the goalkeeper and down on the other side. It's either gonna go over the bar or straight into the goalie's hands. Instead, we're gonna be using a lifting technique. So what we do is we dig our toes underneath the ball and then we flick our toes upwards so the ball rolls off the end of the toe. So think of it less like a chip and more like lifting the ball over the goalkeeper. So we're going to get our toes underneath the ball and then flick it upwards. That allows the ball to go up aggressively and drop aggressively on the opposite side. So a couple of ways we can make the chip shot even more effective. If we watch Lionel Messi, who scores a lot of these types of goals, he really reduces his backswing in his leg. So instead of swinging it backwards, which is making the goalkeeper believe he's gonna shoot, gives them time to prepare themselves, he has a very small backswing. Then it's a quick scoop over the goalkeeper to really catch them off guard. So if you can be more deceptive with your approach onto the ball, it's gonna give you more success of chipping the goalkeeper. And a couple more final tips if you want to make the chip shot even more deceptive to give you more chance of fooling the goalkeeper. One thing you can do is make it look like you're going to blast the ball. So if we really swing our leg back, we make it look like we're going to smash the ball, the goalkeeper usually sets their feet and they're rooted to the ground. Alternatively, if you want to get a little bit closer and the goalkeeper charges you quickly, you can make it look like you're going to go around the goalkeeper and then you can lift the ball and it's an even smaller chip needed. So if you roll it to the side and then it's a little chip, usually the goalkeeper dives to the side and the ball goes over their body. So there we go guys, a few tips to help you perfect the chip shot. And if you want more tips and tutorials from me, you can also check out my YouTube channel over here. But I'm 7MRC, until next time, I'm out.